Beauty. We've made it. Speechless. You <laughs> can't put words to this. It's too good. Oh, shark, Tana. Big shark. <laughs> on Founded by sharks, dude. It's okay. okay. <laughs> it's okay. You're safe. You're safe. <laughs> Woo! Now, there's one moment where I accepted yeah. my fate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, hey, I just gotta enjoy it. Like, <laughs> so I'd be like, just do confident strides here. He's a beauty. <laughs> this is the spot, huh? Wow. What, what dude? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Palmyra is a really special place. It has flourishing reefs, bird species that are thriving, native trees that are growing there, not the coconut trees. And I've always just been interested in how they keep their ecosystems so healthy. It's a very, very protected little piece of land on Earth. But it wasn't always that way. In World War II, the military had pretty much decimated the entire island. You see the photos of what it looked like. It is unbelievable to see how it can come back. I work for the Nature Conservancy's Palmyra program. We're within the Hawaii chapter. Um, the Nature Conservancy is in all 50 states and 72 countries. And what we do here at Palmyra is take care of an innovative research station focused on climate adaptation and resilience. When we come to a place where it's healthy and it's thriving, like Palmyra is, we just feel at peace. Mm -hmm. We feel full. Um, abundance is the natural state that we're all supposed to enjoy as humans. Yeah. And as soon as we start to separate ourselves from nature, we start to see that abundance go away. It's just what happens if we start to think of ourselves as totally separate. Really, it's not any one thing. It's if we thought about every one of our actions as though we're a part of this whole system, we would make the right choices. Until we can love ourselves, we have a really hard time taking care of anyone or anything else. And that's been a powerful lesson from nature for me. Spending time in nature is where I really got to know myself, my limits, also what I am capable of. When I see a system that's in balance like this, where there's so many fish that I can't see from me to you in the reef, and there's too many fish to count, and part of my job is counting fish, that is just amazing. But we're not gonna see that everywhere until we can kind of come to grips with who we are. Everyone on Palmyra is a scientist for the most part. Some are just studying birds on the island. Some are studying the reef and the fish and the soil. Everyone's focusing on one thing, but it's creating this bigger picture. One of the reasons that we are here, that Fish and Wildlife Service is here and the Nature Conservancy is here, is not, not just because this is an absolutely gorgeous ecosystem. We're here because not only can we continue to increase the resilience of this overall ecosystem by doing little tweaks, but it's also, we're positioned to learn from them. 
the response time is so fast because the system is so productive. And every conservation action that we do here has an inherent benefit to the system, but then we also want it to have an inherent benefit to conservation on a global scale. We have a lot to learn from the parts of nature that we don't always interact with. And it doesn't mean we have to stop fishing or we have to stop interacting with ecosystems. We just have to change how we do that. Mm -hmm. So why spend so much money trying to protect an area that's so remote and so few people can physically see it? Totally valid question, right? My response is, how do you know what an intact eco marine ecosystem or an atoll tropical ecosystem is supposed to look like yeah. if you don't have a baseline, yeah. right? So say we lose Palmyra and then we go to Puko or somewhere on, the, on, on Big Island, right? It has nice reefs and that's your new baseline. Oh, this place is beautiful or oh, now, now. okay? Yeah. Beautiful reefs and people go down and they comment about the beautiful clear water, plenty of fish, beautiful reefs. But that's, that's now the new baseline if you lose somewhere like Palmyra. Yeah. yeah. Right? And so Palmyra essentially can become like an international baseline. flourishing reefs down there that are bouncing back from bleaching events quicker than anywhere else on the earth. You're swimming down and these hundreds and hundreds of fingers of coral coming off. It just is incredible. This place is just like incredibly insane. The fish are eating out on the sea. Uh, the tuna are driving the fish up. The birds eat those fish. They come back to the land. They land in the trees. Poop flows down through the rainwater into the soil and gets fed back into the oceans in turn, feeding the plankton. Those planktons are fed on by those smaller fish. Nutrients get flowed out into the coral and the reefs and, and those um, fish that eat and, and kind of herd and graze on the seaweed that takes out the reef. So this incredibly complex system that just here in Palmyra has all the links in that wheel. Um, and from what they said, a lot of the places are just missing some of those links or there's a little too much of one. And if you can just click them all back together, then nature will do the rest and it will make a major, major comeback. Some rad things to think about. <laughs> We're having a damn hell time here. It's been incredible. Get on down to Crap Town, gonna get on down that road. Wanna get on down to Crap Town with my heavy, heavy load.
Them crabs is mighty hungry, and we got a ways to go. Gotta get the crab down before my bucket's explode. Seeing how much of an effect it has when you let nature do its thing and if you give it that chance to have that resilience and to come back to health, it will. But you have to give it the opportunity. Unfortunately, um, you have to come here to realize uh, all the work that has been done. So it's hard for people outside to understand. But maybe uh, through some movies and uh, maybe we can help spread the world. <laughs> Love it. Engine failure. <laughs> the ventilation systems have been damaged. Oh, here comes the shark. Oh! 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 Oh!